We know that fitness as measured by VO2 max is important for all of us as we grow older. So what is yours? In this video, I'm gonna look at two ways to test your own VO2 max that are regularly used on people who are over the age of 60. VO2 max is a single number that gives a measure of fitness. It's closely correlated with independent living. In this video, I explained that if it drops below a certain level, it'll largely rule out being able to look after yourself. And incidentally, if you see any YouTubers claiming a startlingly high VO2 max, ask if it's just a smartwatch estimate or whether they've done one of these simple self-test estimates. And if not, why? Knowing your precise VO2 max number doesn't really matter. What's important for everyone is to work on improving that and then using a consistent way to test and see whether you are indeed improving or perhaps declining. So it's not the absolute number that counts, but the change in that number. You might use a smartwatch. Here are my different VO2 max values from my Garmin and Apple Watch. Equally important, the Apple Watch showed my decline in fitness when a virus stopped me training for six weeks this winter, but it has started to recover. Specialist equipment, a metabolic cut, is the only way to actually measure VO2 max. Everything else is an estimate. On systems like this, you have to push yourself until you can go no harder and you reach your maximum heart rate. But there are other ways, and you don't have to have a fancy smartwatch. Do one of these self-tests every month or so, and you should get a figure that you can work with. And for the first one, you don't even have to push yourself too hard. The Rockport walk test is a sub-max test. You just walk one mile, no jogging, and it should be done on a hard surface. I'm out for a dog walk, so this'll do. You'll need an accurate heart rate monitor, a chest strap is better than a wrist-based one, and note your heart rate 10 seconds after you finish. It's actually quite hard, this. <laughs> My heart rate's not that high, it's just over 100, but still. Then there's a mathematical formula you can use or just enter the results in an online calculator. That's my fourth different VO2 max number, but remember it doesn't matter, it's how it improves the next time I take the test. Dr. Kenneth Cooper came up with this test in 1968, and it's quite simple, you just see how far you can run in 12 minutes. I'm working in kilometers for this just because the mathematics is easier. Uh, let's see how far I can go. Again, this should be done on a flat surface, ideally a running track. You're recommended to get your doctor's clearance before doing a strenuous test and warm up for at least 15 minutes. You don't need a heart rate strap, just a 12 minute clock and a way of measuring distance. I think I've messed up. Not only am I too hot, I've run out of road. I've run faster, got two minutes to go. So I'm gonna turn around and go back again. So that'll slow me. But as long as I do the same thing next time, the comparison will be fair. Consistency is what matters. Touch the bridge. And go again. Thanks to these people who are channel members and support my videos. Find out more by clicking the join button below each video. Five, three, 2.16 kilometers. Yeah, I think that's gonna be my VO2 max training for this week. I used to be able to run an hour for that pace. Yeah, raging against that decline while accepting its inevitability. There's something to be said for that. Again, there's a formula and an online calculator which gives me an almost identical result to the walk test, but quite different to the smartwatches and all of these different again to the figure actually measured in the lab. But this absolute figure is not important to me. My takeaway from these are they are about encouragement. You want to be able to see yourself improve, to chart your progress. And if you do that, these VO2 max estimates are very well worth doing. If you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Check out more of the Older Athlete series here and some adventure cycling videos here. I will see you again next time. Thank you for your company.